How to Add a Jenkins Job to a View. We can add jobs to folders within Jenkins to collect them in a way that we want to be able to view them. However, in some cases, that's just not enough. Sometimes we want to be able to cherry pick jobs from different folders and have a single view that shows us all of those jobs. That's where views come in. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.4. And inside of this controller, I have five folders created. And within these five folders, I have 10 jobs created for each folder. So a total of 50 jobs. So let's go ahead and go back up to the root of our dashboard. Now, unlike when we're creating new items like jobs, when we create a new view, what we want to do is we want to click on this plus sign next to the all that says new view. So let's go ahead and click on this new view and we're going to go ahead and give it a name. In my case, I'm going to name it alpha. Now we're presented with two different options. The first option is list view, which gives us the ability to decide what jobs we want to have in this view. Secondly, we have my view and my view is just going to show you whatever you have access to. So in my case, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and select list view and click on create. Now here we can decide what jobs to add to our view. For this first example, let's just say I only care about jobs that are in folder zero. So I can select folder zero and click OK. Now by doing that, the alpha view is created and we can see right here alpha is selected. And the only thing that we see inside of alpha is folder zero. If I go ahead and click on all, then I go back and see all of the other jobs that I can have access to under the all view. But under alpha, I've defined it to only be folder zero. I can also edit this view by going back in. And let's assume for a moment that I want to go ahead and add in folder one because I want to see both folder zero and folder one. When I click on the save this time, I get to see both folder zero and folder one. Now let's go and create another view. We'll call this one beta. We'll select list view and click on create. Now this time, instead of just selecting these top level items that are here, what we're going to do is we're going to recurse into subfolders. And when we do that, we can see now under jobs that we not only see just the items that were at the root of the controller, but we see all the items that are on the controller. So I could select just the folder, folder zero, or I could select job one from folder zero, or I could select job four from folder two, or I can select job six from folder four. When I click okay on this, what we're going to see is within beta, we see our folder zero job one, folder two job four, and folder four job six. So I can make this as granular as I want. In fact, let's go and edit this one more time. And this time, let's go ahead and add in folder three. So we have the three separate jobs and the folder folder three. Now you can see under the beta view, we see our three jobs at the top level, and then we also see folder three. And when I click into folder three, I see all the objects within folder three. So based on where you define your object for the view is what you'll be able to see within the view. So let's go create one more view. We'll call this view gamma, click on list view and create. We'll go ahead and recurse into subfolders and let's just pick three jobs from folder zero. So we'll pick job zero, job one, and job two. At the bottom of this view configuration, we can decide which columns that we want to see in views. So in my case, I don't care about weather. I don't care about last duration. And I also don't care about last failure. So I can remove all of those columns or optionally, I can add in a column that I might want. So in my case, let's say I only care about last stable. So I can add in last stable. I can also go ahead and reorder these by clicking and dragging and dropping. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And when we look now at gamma, notice that the only columns that we see are name, status, last success, last stable, and the build now. Well, let's assume for a moment that, you know what, I've made the change. I don't really care about having build now on that view. We'll go back down into our view, get rid of the build button, click OK, and now we can see that the build button has been removed. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.